Folks, how are you? We're here in Mount Lebanon. And just to give you an idea of the variety of trees in this neighborhood. Of course, Pittsburgh is tree city, bridge and tree city. But look at the variety of trees across in that hill there. I mean, it's amazing. The, the different uh, types of trees. I have no idea about trees. Folks, here are three more fun facts about Mount Lebanon. Now, a lot of people consider Mount Lebanon to be... Uh, the term that you hear a lot is uh, highly affluent. Now, that's possibly true. I don't know because um, I'm not from Pittsburgh. But think about the neighborhoods next to Mount Lebanon. For example, Banksville. Now, that takes a lot of courage when you're so affluent and so many of the people in your town work in the financial industry that you call your suburb Banksville. Now, I don't know if there's any battle between Mount Lebanon and Banksville as to which is more affluent. Uh, but Banksville is... is uh, <laughs> is uh, throwing down the gauntlet with their name. But uh, let's say that uh, Mount Lebanon is highly affluent. How do you know? Well, I did notice that cars in the Liberty Tunnel that were from Mount Lebanon had license plate frames made of 14 karat gold that said, I'm a gold medal resident of Mount Lebanon. Now, I don't know what you have to do to become a gold medal resident, but my license plate frame would probably be uh, sort of a copper color. <laughs> and it would say, I'm a bronze medal resident of Mount Lebanon. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Assuming I lived here, which I don't. I don't know if they'd allow me to live, or be honest with it. I, I would apply, and they would just say, uh, uh, occupation? I'd go, comedian. And they're like, denied. <laughs> uh, the other way that you can tell Mount Lebanon is an affluent uh, neighborhood is, is, of course, by the residents. And to give you an idea, this is true. At one point, uh, Muhammad Ali tried to buy a home in town and the neighbors neighborhood thought well that's gonna be like crazy with all the fans and everything and they said uh love you but can you find another place because we're gonna get run over by your fans which is probably true it was probably true at the time uh but the people that have come from uh, Mount Lebanon are, are vast, the number of famous and, um, for example, the guy that invented the twist off top of jars, uh, Mr. Twist, he was from Mount Lebanon, okay? The guy that invented that rack that they put shopping carts into in, in the parking lot, they corral them, the, the shopping cart corral stalls, that lady in the, who invented that lives in Mount Lebanon, okay? Uh, the guy who started the original Tiddlywink Championship League in 1908, and that league lasted three, three seasons, and they only folded because they didn't have television coverage, because they didn't have television. That guy, he's from Mount Lebanon. And so all those empires, all those financial uh, winners, you know, they came from Mount Lebanon. And there's a, there's a whole list. If you, if you go online, you'll see there's four or 5,000 successful people from Mount Lebanon. About half of those, you'll recognize their names. So guys, those are some fun facts about L Mount Lebanon, a very pleasant, beautiful 
area of Pittsburgh with rolling hills, about 8,000 different types of trees, as you can see in the distance there. Maybe it's hard to see. And um, one of the first suburbs in uh, Pittsburgh. One of the very first suburbs. Yep, back in the day. And look where they are today. Trees everywhere. Famous and rich people everywhere. And you can even say that you're a gold medal resident if you qualify with your 14 karat gold license plate frame. <laughs>